Welcome to Face to Face. This is a show about change and about what's next. It's a show that wants to ask questions, peel back the layers of our average everyday experience, and go beyond scratching the surface. We interview amazing people with incredible ideas and stories who have done wild, weird, and wonderful things. Remember that imagination shared create collaboration, and collaboration creates community, and community inspires social change. I'm David Peck, and this is Face to Face. My next interview is with Mahanaz Mahamadi. Uh, she's a documentarian from Iran and has uh, created her first fiction feature debut that uh, premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival. And the film is called Sun Mother, and it is a stunning, uh, gorgeous, uh, deeply moving film that you're going to want to get to see. And I don't really know what the distribution is on this. I I would imagine it's going to be video on demand eventually. Uh, You'll be able to get it somewhere. But as you can imagine, uh, Mahanaz has had some issues with some of her filmmaking over the years. She's a documentarian. She spent time in jail. She is a woman who is trying to make a difference. She's got stories to tell. And uh, look her up online and and find out uh, um, a little bit more about her. Manuscripts Don't Burn Goodbye, uh, A Man of Integrity. Uh, She has been winning awards for her films and for the advocacy uh, that she's been doing. And we just had a lovely time together. And this is a film about um, a young boy and really his mother, but it but it brings in a few other characters, obviously, that are critical to the story and, and to what actually happens. But, but what we end up doing here and what Mahanaz does in this film is she really peels back the layers on cultural issues and cross-cultural awareness and, and gender disparity and ideology and patriarchy and and kind of all the things that that sort of matter and hopefully make us better humans when we start to talk about these issues but more importantly start to act on them as well it's not just about you know having a great conversation this is also about um you know uh, pushing back against traditions that 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 are dangerous that that are oppressive that hold people back and 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 don't we all suffer from those in one way shape or another whether it's in our families or in our workplaces or you know in our uh, countries or communities and let's look, let's look at the globe let's take it all on and and this is what's so beautiful to me about this type of storytelling and again a stunning stunning first fiction feature debut uh, and 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 uh, I love the fact that this documentarian has moved from, you know, one sort of medium to to another. Or no, well, one kind of storytelling, I suppose you could say, to another, and just done such a superb job at it. And we had a wonderful uh, time uh, chatting together. So don't forget to uh, coming right up uh, the interview, of course. But don't forget to DavidPeckLive dot com for more information about my uh, writing. And my speaking at davidpecklive.com. You can find more out there. You can also order a copy of Real Changes Incremental. Uh, face-to-face-live.ca for a whole host of other interviews uh, there coming up. over. Uh, we're probably going to cross the 500 mark in the not-so-distant future. We're looking for sponsors. Uh, please get in touch with me. You can do that. Uh, through uh, the email address on the site. We can sell you banner ads. We can do shout-outs. We can do special uh, interviews. It's, it's, uh, it, we'll, we'll, we'll craft something for you if you're interested. Sign up for the newsletter and forward these interviews, please, on to others. And if you want to support us financially, you can do that through patreon.com and support us monthly. We've got a few supporters doing that. And if you can't do that, which we get, a, a review on iTunes really would be brilliant. That would be uh, so helpful for, for, helpful for so many reasons. And don't forget rabble.ca for more information uh, web, but, but about pretty much everything. We've got writers there and bloggers and podcasters and journalists that are going a little deeper. They're peeling back those layers. News for the rest of us, rabble.ca. And you can also, of course, find face-to-face there. But uh, don't you know touch that dial, as they say. We're going to be talking to another... Uh, a filmmaker from the Toronto International Film Festival, her world premiere of uh, her film, Son, Mother, Manaz, Mahanmadi, coming right up. Well, welcome to Face to Face. We're joined by uh, two very special guests here. Today, uh, we are uh, uh, talking with uh, Matnaz. Close? 
Mahnoz. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. And no, it's it's why don't you introduce yourself and then uh, the director of uh, her new film, uh, Son Mother, premiering at uh, the Toronto International Film Festival. And uh, you just got into town a few days ago. Welcome to Toronto and, and congratulations. Thank you so much. So can you introduce yourself for our audience and tell us just a yes. tiny bit about yourself? Uh, I'm Mahnoz Mohammadi. I'm from Iran, independent Iranian cinema. And I'm a documentary filmmaker, also is the feature film. This is the, my first feature film. First feature Son film. Mother. Yeah. And, how, and the producer is, I thought it was the translator <laughs> who's here joining us today, but it's the yeah. producer and probably uh, many other things too, I would imagine, on a, on a film like this. Can you t t tell us who you are and, and a little bit about yourself and, uh, and the film maybe? Yeah, uh, thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, my name is Farzad Park. Uh, I'm, a, I'm not actually the only producer of this film. My colleague uh, Kaveh Farnam is also the producer, and also Mohammad Rasulov, who wrote the script, had a major role as well. Yeah, uh, as you mentioned, that this 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 was not a normal movie for us. You know, we put our soul and heart in it. A real and love letter. Yes, and uh, especially because of the uh, situation of Mahnaz and the script itself, it was challenging from the beginning to mm. to, to produce this film. But we were all uh, very, uh, we had the, the, the ambition to work on this project, apart from the usual uh, trend that it's happening in the cinema, which is only the, the business side, I mean, right, you know, right. yeah, because we, we thought that this the movie has something uh, to say worldwide, and Absolutely. that was the main yeah. thing that put all of us together. Right. Yeah. The challenge? Do the challenges? Uh, are the challenges sort of connected to the subject matter of the film? The fact that you're dealing with some pretty serious issues. And by the way, it's a I, I love the film. I thought it was beautiful, uh, compelling, right, right from the get go. Right, right from the get-go, and interested, wanted to know where where the story was going, and that's an amazing thing for I think for especially as a documentarian, mm -hmm. it must have been a little daunting <laughs> to be making your first uh, narrative fiction film. Exactly. Anyway, so so yeah, talk about any of that, uh, Manaz. But uh, the the challenges mostly to do with the subject, or was it more about funding, or both? Well, uh, both. I mean, uh, well, uh, it was. Mahnaz is uh, her first feature film, mm -hmm. and after uh, years of Mahnaz uh, mm, uh, not being allowed to uh, get out of the country and the restrictions that she had, uh, uh, it was challenging from the beginning mm -hmm. because uh, the authorities uh, they 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 liked the script very much. Oh, but so you had to. But have they it don't like yeah. me. They don't <laughs> like you. Yes, yes. Yeah, you've you've sp yeah. you've served jail term. Yeah, yeah <laughs> they don't like. You're me. quite the activist. Yes, yes, yes. yes yeah. I you've am. been very busy for many many years. <laughs> well, actually, yeah. this this trend is also changing a lot mm. in Iran. You know, mm. I have to say that. But there are people that still are very conservative. Sure, sure. I have to say that there were so many people in the cultural ministry. Uh, very cooperative on this sub uh, subject, uh, but at the same time there were people uh, who were acting very conservatively and they didn't actually want Manas to make his film. But what we did for this film, we because we believed on in, in what we were doing, we uh, uh, actually emphasized and we uh, stand on our what what we were going to produce, and I think it happened in the end. Yeah, and we are so happy for that. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure I'm happy if the producer. They are happy. You're happy that the producer's <laughs> yes. happy. Yes. The most important thing is when you are a female filmmaker, and uh, always it was the, my main goal. Uh, I should do my best because I don't want to interrupt the the women's way. The producer doesn't trust them. Always, I I told my women's colleague during the for, uh, shooting, I told them. Girls, let's go to do the best because they open the this way for the other girls. They can trust more. And uh, about this uh, story, um, I think 
Should I say something about that? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I think I it's think they fine. Can, they it's should to see. Yes, yes. Yeah, the, the I more, don't want the to more, spoil yeah, the, this. Sorry. No, I think spoilers are but okay in a, in a way because because uh, you, you, you want to generate interest, right? You want, you want people you know, to say, I want to see I this film. I think that's the stories can be the, uh, the any of us story. Sure. That's my story. And, um, you know, it's, it's the my one of my main goals in the movie. I love to uh, find, ap- ap- uh, to reach uh, this point, if any of audience uh, find under, on their own suffer um, the suppression and find own selves on the movie, I'm done. D- and you said it's uni- universal in exactly. that sense. Yeah, any, yeah. any great story really is isn't it any mm-hmm. any great great film is what's um uh, why don't the authorities like you what what is it about the work that you do and the questions that you ask and the films that you make that have that that upset people <laughs> i i say maybe mm, still not even everywhere for me uh, patriarchy is yeah. Yeah. Sure. Patrick sure. Yeah. Exist. Absolutely. And, yeah. uh, they don't like me because I couldn't shut my mouth, and uh, still, uh, okay. When mm, my life uh, after forty years uh, goes through just on the suppression, when still uh, I find whenever I find a, a big censorship in my mind, I find that oh, I lost it many things, and. Uh, uh, I thought at first to be just myself, at first to should clean up all of this. And this is a big challenge in my life every day for to anything, anything. When you, when you started making movies, yeah. have you seen some of that change? You know, the things getting better uh, in, in Iran and in other countries around the world as well? Are you, uh, I guess maybe, maybe... Maybe my question is, are, are you hopeful? And that's usually a question I ask at the end of an interview. Mm. <laughs> but um, the best question, uh, if I'm here now, mm-hmm. I'm talking with you, mm-hmm. uh, which is I'm so honored, mm-hmm. um, that's the hope uh, sure. bring me here. Sure, sure. Always I have hope. But unfortunately, can I say some things? Absolutely. It's a bit painful. Still, but yeah. uh, when I was in prison, I find more hope. When I came out, a little bit I lost it. Because of what was happening, would you say? Uh, when you are in the, like, a small case, a small place, like when I was a child, I'm not grown up, and just I thought, one day I leave the country, and definitely I find my freedom. But I grown up. I came out but that, that little cage. The, but I felt on the bigger. No. You felt bigger when bigger cage is not changed uh, for me. Right. So so out here outside the window is is also is also a cage. Is that sort uh, of sort of what you're saying? For me, but yeah. 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 Interesting. I told you it's a little painful. Yeah. Because when I was in the prison, I thought, oh, there's a hope. They can change outside. They can do some things. We can do. But when you came out and you find that everybody's. Just uh, they, they are so busy to think about this. Sure, sure. You know, yeah. they, they don't want to, uh, they care it. I'm sure they care yes. about the justice, everything, women's issue, everything. But I think they are so busy. Mm. We are so busy. We are so busy. It's so true. And it's interesting to hear that, you know, people are busy in other parts of the world as well. <laughs> and it's <laughs> right. You're busy with your family and your work and putting, putting food on the table and, and those kinds of things. Um, can I ask you a little bit more about the film, Mr. Is it Mr. Kazem? Is that his name? Is that yeah. how you pronounce it? So he's a really interesting guy. Um, so uh, um, sweet yes. and and touching. And I kept waiting for him to not be the nice man that you portrayed. I mean, it's so. And it's uh, is. Yeah, I mean, it's. I was. I was almost hoping he was <laughs> going. To, there was going to be like this shift or this <laughs> right because it makes it. It almost makes it harder in a way because he knew that yep. he too was in a bit of a prison, I suppose, <laughs> and and was still trying to make this work in some way. Actually, about the cousin, 
I found it uh, the 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 cousin like the cousin personality. Um, uh, if they have a mind, if they have another choice, definitely he do some things. Right, right. But the economy, the sanction, everything makes him ag- as a sacrifice person as well in ha- on his life because he's unsatisfied by doing this way. You can see his face when he try to connect with the uh, uh, Amir Ali, Amir, and uh, him. But the most important thing is I have a question for you. <laughs> you have a question for me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're going to interview me. Yes, this is no, good. About this is good. Story. Yeah. <laughs> about the story. Uh, the, tell me your idea about the on the bus when they are talking because one of the audience asked me exactly about this sequence on the minibus, the cousin speaking with the Amir when they're uh, when they're driving. You yes. Mean? Yeah. And so so uh, so what are you what are you asking? What what how what how one was of I the feel- audience asked me why they are talking about the bicycle or something. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, do you mean when he hides in the bu- in the minibus? No, no. The, no the there's there's this scene when uh, when, the f- the when the first time they're the face on face talking. Right. Yeah. 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 After that, after yeah. the tea house. Yes. Uh, before the kids run away again. R- right. So there's yeah. a, there's right. A, right. A, right. 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 There's yeah. a friendly atmosphere between them. Uh, oh. Oh. Friendly yeah. And he again. said, and he actually says something like, um, "I really do want you." To be with us, and and he, you can tell he's very, very genuine. I don't, yeah. I don't think he was lying, but what am I going to do? I, this is what people will talk, and and people, right? And and you, you, I like for me, I'm astounded, and 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 amazed that it would could be that bad. I, I say it's bad. That's part of that culture. Things are changing, as you say. It's not as conservative, and so on. And yet we're still kind of living in this prison, as you mentioned, which I think is really interesting. But I think that's a really uh, for me, it, it raises the question of how do you change things? How do you actually get people talking about issues differently? How do you get government officials to see things in a new way um, when this man who loves, clearly I think he loves this boy on, on a certain level, uh, loves his mom, but but just can't figure out how to make it work. Yeah. Does that... Does that sound about right yes yes it's right but uh, about that story one of the audience asked me why he's telling about the bicycle and why you use this story what was the matter i told him whenever he's explaining on on his childhood story is uh, uh, like go connected with the amir i was like you it happens for me, for the cousin before, and it's like the, uh, you know, for me is the mm, this this tradition never goes disappear or destroy. We are just giving the other shoulders, the next year generation shoulders, that dad's carrying and giving to the boys, and uh, exactly that part is for me the, I mean, um, the cousin wants to tell the I Amir, mean, I was like you. I did. I became a man. You should. This is just a part of becoming a man. It's a right. Uh, uh, we would call it a rite of passage, sort yeah. of, right? Yeah. It, do you yeah. know? You know that phrase? Like, yeah. you're, this is just something that you have to do. And and it's now three three years. He's asking him yes. uh, t- to wait, right? Yeah. Um, so are 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 you are you hopeful? I mean, it sounds to me like you are uh, in your smile and your tone of voice and so on. But you know. Uh, <laughs> Things are changing. I think you said earlier. Yes, I'm. I'm hopeful. Although uh, I think that uh, the the world is now uh, is not a good place. Mm. I mean, mm. in terms of the environment, the wars, you know, in in, in, the, in our in, in in the world and all the things that we know. But I'm still hopeful because I think uh, the human being is alive uh, by being hopeful and. At least we can change, you know, the atmosphere around us. Well, yeah. would a question? I guess a question I could ask about the film: yeah. Could you, could you have made Sun Mother five years ago or ten years ago? Would it have been? You said the Ministry of the, the Culture yeah. liked liked the script, so would they have liked it ten or fifteen years ago? 
uh, would it have been more of a uh, not in terms of that they liked it to make it uh, you know their story uh, on their story there is some things all of them they lived it before they believed I can say believed because um, they asked me a lot about to changing the, the part sure, of it. I'm sure I'm sure changing yeah. everything but I can tell they believe it is true but they afraid it why she wants to make it she she wearing jail she's doing like this maybe she wants to make some other um, you know, backside. What's yeah, backside about us? I think, and um, maybe she has another idea in yeah, mind about she, what she's going to yeah, do with the film. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're very yeah. suspicious. Yeah, 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 exactly. May may I add something? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, talking about five years ago when when Manas was, I was not even involved because Manas and Mama were working on the script. Um, you know, and when, when she uh, talked about, uh, and when I read, and I, I felt in love immediately to the script, but it was not the right time. It took a while because we considered ourselves to be independent filmmakers, and we did not get any uh, fund from any governmental organization right. or nothing, right. and we didn't want to, okay? And and although there were opportunities to do this, but we we waited for the right time and the uh, right but people. Not just for the right time. It's to get uh, I, five years it took because uh, for many years just for the clean money, not corruption money. Oh, right. Not coming yeah. by the government. So there was no yeah, things, it, no yeah. strings attached. Yeah, many, many producers wants to produce this film. But uh, after the discussion, I, I recognized, yeah, on their back there, the secret service, that they just the corrupted money. And I don't want it. Finally, I find the Farzad and Kave, and which is, I'm so happy because uh, in the first day of the movie, I told my actor and actors, uh, I told them, I'm not owing you because right. the that's the clean right. money. Right, no, I totally we get it. Go yeah. there. You, yeah. want the, you want the freedom exactly. to tell the story that exactly. you want to tell. Yeah, that's what we emphasized from the beginning. Yeah. And also, um, going back to your question, if it was five years ago, um, I am not, uh, I, I think, you know, in Iran, you know, the atmosphere is not really that close now. Interesting. It, it's been, um, there is this movement or, of reform, mist, reform you know, yeah, but yeah, sure. it, it's, it, in my view, it, it, it will happen gradually and it takes time. But there are still films that they are very, you know, strict. I, I mean, they're, they're, they say very uh, straight things and, but, uh, you know, and I would say some cheap, very cheap um, subjects are allowed to be screened in Iran, but serious movies like this, they don't get a chance because it's not about the script. As I told you, they love the script, but it's important for some, I don't want to say all, of the authorities that who is making the film. Right. So, so this won't, will this not yeah, get I mean, a Yeah, I mean, when they viewing? found out that Mahnaz is directing this film, they got sense of it, and they didn't believe us in the beginning that we want to, because we we, we believe to be honest, right. and uh, we, we presented the script, and uh, there were these suspicions that we want to make another oh, film. Interesting. Yeah. So you were up to something else, basically. So will this will this film be screened in, in Iran? Will, will it get a theatrical release? Yeah, I hope so, and I think uh, well. So far, I, I I got the screening license for the film. Okay, uh, but I'm not sure with within this uh, commercial uh, atmosphere of the cinema industry. Right. What are our chances? Which is a challenge America? everywhere. Yeah. Yes. Right. Cause exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And the, and the, at the same as the beginning, they don't they don't want to give the permission to be exactly. I'm sure for the screening, if you got a permission, it's still you have to wait. Always there is a many hands on the sure, back. Sure. Uh, they try to keep it right, always right. like the so, script. So uh, we need to wrap it up, unfortunately. But uh, I would love to know if you can uh, talk a bit about what is it that, you know, as a documentarian and as a storyteller, to, you know, sort of telling the true stories yeah. versus a fictional story. I mean, I think fictional stories are are only about truth, right? Yeah. And they reveal truths and exactly. they peel back layers and so on. But what what is it that, as you as a filmmaker or a storyteller, what is it that drives you to tell these stories? Uh, is, is, is it about women's issues for you? Is it about that patriarchy? 
uh, and that gender sort of uh, split. Um, I mean, that's part of it, I guess. But I'm wondering what's you know what's uh, what's in here. <laughs> I was part, p p p pointing to my heart, by the way, for those of you who are listening at home or in your car. Actually, that's the screen. Finally, um, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's a little bit hard for your listener. Uh, to imagine 40 years mm. under the pressure, under war, under sanction, uh, and you are not the person exactly mm, the person to decide the situation. Sure. Yeah. But all the, all the, I, you are the only person you have to, you know, uh, try to get out by the suffering. Right. You know, yes. To find a way and to telling this story. Is uh, make me a little bit the space to breathe mm. and to find the okay audience. Let's see. Let's watch what we are doing with right. ourselves. How, and how, how how do we yeah. individually respond exactly. to the questions exactly. and to the story and exactly. to the issues? Yeah. No. I. And you know, it's interesting. This year at the festival, this has come up in about five or six of my interviews and how directors have talked about how the films live beyond themselves yeah. and how actors have said, oh, I'm still figuring out what the movie is actually about. And, and I mean, isn't that wonderful that it's kind of um, revealing and growing um, and, and, and isn't that what mm. great art is really all about? Um, well, thank you uh, for your time today. I'm sorry we have to we have to wrap it up. The publicist is waving <laughs> yeah. was waving his hand. I time time to wrap up. We've we've been here uh, uh, in Toronto talking uh, about the new Iranian film and an important and beautiful film, tragically beautiful film. It really is, Banaz. Thank, thank you so much uh, for your time today and for joining us here on Face to Face. Thank you. Thank you.